In today's video for Elementor Pro, we're going to take a look at a key new feature that allows us to quickly and easily add related posts in. So let's take a look at how we can do that right now. So if you've got a blog or a website that has lots of information on it, one of the most important things you want to do is keep your viewer on your site as long as possible. One of the easiest ways of doing that is to add in a related articles or related posts section. There are plenty of plugins out there that allow you to do this, but today we're going to take a look at a key new feature in Elementor Pro that allows you to do that directly inside our site itself. So I've already gone ahead and created a simple placeholder area inside the template for our single post. We're going to use that as the basis for our related post section. Well, my name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, the channel where I help you create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to become part of the WP crew and be notified every time new content is added. So for this video, I'm going to make an assumption that you're comfortable working with Elementor Pro and the theme editor for Elementor itself. If you're not, I'd recommend taking a look at some of the videos on this channel where I go through and show you exactly how to use all these key functions. Okay, so I've got my template. This is my single post template. That's the default template that's going to be used for all of my single posts throughout my site. And I've got a placeholder now ready for where I want to drop in a section that allows me to link through to related posts to this particular article that the end user is reading. So all we need to do is go through and add in a post section. So to come over to the left hand side, we're going to search for post and you can see we've got the posts option. We're going to drag that, drop that into our template area and we're going to now pull in the basic information for all of our posts. There's no kind of query being applied to this. It's just pulling everything in, which obviously isn't what we want. If we take a look on the left hand side, we can go through, we can style things in the way you'd normally expect. We can enable and disable all the different things. But what we're interested in is scrolling down to where we have query. If we click to open that up, you can see by default, the source is posts. Now we've had this for quite some time, but if we expand that drop down, you're going to find we now have some additional options. What we are looking for is related. If we choose related, you'll see what happens is we now have the ability to go through and tell it how we want that relationship to work. We can use include and exclude, and then we can include by a particular value. We click on there. You can see we can choose between term and author. Now, obviously, if you wanted to have this as the archive for the author, you could link those through to the related articles that the author has written. For this example, we want to use term. Once I click on that, we now open up a second option related just to terms. If we click on there, you can see we now have three options, categories, tags, and formats. What we want to do for this example is use your categories. But if you wanted to link your articles together by tags or by a format, for example, a video format, a post format, a gallery format, and so on, you could choose those options there. We're going to choose categories. We're going to click on that. And you'll see now that immediately filters out any additional articles that don't fall into this particular category. Because like I say, we've set this up to be related to include a term and the term for this example is categories. Now, in case your website is new and you may not have that many posts, you can also drop in a fallback option. If we click to open that up, you can see we can choose from none, manual selection or recent posts. So you may want to do a manual selection of your top posts. You could do that here. Or you could just choose recent posts and this would then use that fallback of the most recent X number of posts on your entire website blog, whatever you're kind of referencing to create this related area. I'm going to leave that set to none for this particular example. And this next option is pretty powerful if you actually look into it. You can see it says date and it says all currently. So in other words, it's going to show everything regardless of what date this was posted. If we expand that out, we can customize this. We can say we only want to show those related posts in this particular category for the last day, week, month, quarter or year. Or we could put a manual selection in through custom. So if we click on that, you can see we can put in before and after. So this gives us an almost unending range of options for controlling exactly when and how and what we display in our related post section. So this is very, very powerful. For this example, we're going to put that back to all because I don't want to filter things out based upon the date. I simply want to display all of my related posts. So next up, we have the options then to control the way things are ordered. So we can choose from order by date, title, menu, order or random, and also whether it's descending or ascending. So the new related queries opens up a whole range of different options on how we can display and what we display as related articles to anything we want to create inside Elemental Pro. I love this new feature. It's really opened the door and also means that we cut back on additional plugins we may need to use just to get this functionality in the past. 
And hopefully what this has demonstrated is it's super simple to integrate this into your template structure. So let's take a quick look at what this looks like on the page by choosing different articles. I'm not going to update this. I've already created this and styled it and everything is in place. So let's just jump over to my site and let's scroll back up. You can see there's our related article. So we scroll back up and take a look at, for example, finances. And we go through, you can see there's a couple of articles. If we choose this one, we're going to go and take a look. If there's any related articles, we can scroll down to that area. And you can see there's our related article, which I can click on and jump over to that article and read the full thing. And again, if we scroll right the way down, we've got our related articles listed underneath. So it's incredibly easy to use, a great way of integrating it into the overall design and something I'm really glad to see they've added into Elemental Pro. But what do you think of this? Is this something you think you could use in your own design process? If it is, let me know in that comment section below. I'd love to get your feedback on what you think of this tool, what you think of this function, and if you think it's something that's worthwhile being added into Elemental Pro. Speak in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's perfectly fine. But let me know in the comment section below what you did or didn't like about this video. It helps me create better content for you moving forward. As always, all applicable links are in the description below. My name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.